Hi, I'm Garrett for BibleSoftwareGuy.com, and in this video we're going to be looking at a fresh installation of Logos Bible Software, or Logos Bible Software, or in Texas, Logos and Logos are also correct pronunciations. On top of the installation, we're also going to be looking at what comes with a standard installation without paying anything. Let's say you're on the Logos website for the first time here and you go to the page that talks about these packages. If you go to this page here, it says Logos Bible Software 7, silver, $899. That's a lot more than a lot of people willing to invest. There's a little known page hiding on this Logos website that you should know about. Go to the support menu up here and then installation. And then you get to Logos Bible Software 7 installation. What can we help you with? Installing Logos 7 or upgrading from Logos 6. I suggest neither of these for now. Scroll down and we see here to install Logos 6, click here. Click that. Then we get to Logos Bible 6 installation. What can we help you with? Installing the free Logos Core engine? Look at that. A free Logos Core engine. Who, who's interested in that? You can download the Logos engine, the actual software, for free. So let's go ahead and click on that and see what happens. So here we have the Logos 6 core engine, zero dollars and zero cents. That's free. Let's go ahead and add that to the cart. And here we are, Logos 6 core engine, zero dollars, zero cents. If you already have an account with Faithlife, then you don't need to create a new account down here. You just need to sign into your current Logos account. Now, how do you know if you have one? If you have an account with any of these other Faithlife products, for example, these over here, then you could probably just use your same username and password that you have for one of those. If you don't have one of those accounts, go ahead and create a new one. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to create a new one as well. And now that I've put in my personal information, I'm at this checkout screen. I'm going to hit place order. Then we get to thank you for your order, and you have a link to the engine. Now that we've opened up that installation, at least for the Mac, you just drag the app to the applications folder. Drag the app to, there we go. Now remember, by this point, you should already have an account to plug in here. And what do you know? It's a Logos screen. You have the Logos engine here for free. And it gives us five resources updated. A Factbook, Media Database, a Lemon Lists, Data Set, a Help Set, Pericopes, and Unified Annotation Vocabulary Database, whatever those are. Now when you get into Logos, there's a command line up at the top here. Uh, it used to say command there, but I clicked there and it cleared out. Go ahead and type in update now. And what's going to happen is it's going to download all of the resources that your account owns, again, even though you didn't buy everything. And what you come up with is a good number of resources. You get a devotional, you get faith life study, Bible, graphics, photos, videos, and a Bible dictionary. What you don't get is an actual Bible. Well, what use is Bible software without an actual Bible in it? Hold on, there's more. Go to the Logos store page. If you're back to the Logos website, just click on store here and make sure that you've sorted by price lowest first and you'll have a bunch of free resources. Yes, you're about to make fun of me because the first one that comes up is the scripture alphabet of animals, but you get a Hebrew English lexicon. Ooh, I want that one. And ooh, like some English Bible with audio New Testament. That's free. Okay, I'll add that one. Greek New Testament SPL edition. Perseus Classics Collection, very underrated. All these different books by R.C. Sproul, good stuff. And if you need to add some Bibles to your collection, just purchase a few and add those to your library. That's fair game. When you're done on your free shopping spree, go ahead and get to your shopping cart, click Next, and check out. Yep, I'm placing my order. And thank you for your order, it says. Now all we have to do is just restart Logos and our resources should pop up. And if they don't pop up right away, like before, update now. And what do you know, downloading 637.7 megabytes of updates, something just happened. The reason why I mentioned that Perseus classics are underrated is that with them, you can actually find original uses of these different Greek words in the classical literature. It can help out your Bible word studies. Now, obviously this isn't full-fledged Logos Bible software in terms of having a full package with all the data sets, etc. But for free, you can't complain. This is pretty good. 
and it gives you a bit of a feel for how Lagos is going to be like if you actually go for a full purchase. Of course, it's also possible to get a full-fledged Lagos package for free, and that is by becoming a student at Dallas Theological Seminary, but I realize that's not for everybody. With that in mind, it's time for me to go ahead and put my normal account into Lagos and get my full library back after this uh, Mac OS Sierra clean reinstallation. I'm Garrett O'Hara for BibleSoftwareGuy.com. Like, share, subscribe if you so choose, and I hope to see you in the next video.